Welcome back to Thumbcraft Quick. In this episode, we'll talk about Research Mastery. Open your Thumbonomicon to the Basic Information tab. Just past Research Expertise is Research Mastery. Notice the dark shadow and the spike shutting out. This indicates that it's Forbidden Knowledge. Forbidden Knowledge causes warp effects. This one's mostly harmless, as you can see, but warp does come with bad effects to balance out Thomcraft a little bit. Warp is described on Warp, Flux, and All Things Bad, also on the Basic Information tab. Generally, you get a few bad status effects. The room might go dark for a short time, or you might get slowness or get sick. Um, sometimes you hallucinate things, like zombies that turn out to be real. So that's one of the worst effects, but Warp's part of the game. This one, not going to be too bad. I already have a research note. It's a bit more complex than the last one, so let's go ahead and solve this one. So, let's connect Cognicio to Ordo. To do that, we're going to use Ignis, which is a component of Cognicio. Ignis is in Potentia. Potentia has Ordo inside it, and Vitreus has Ordo. Alright, now we'll connect Ordo up to Census. We did basically this same thing in our first note, so it should be pretty easy. We'll do it the same way. Modus, Velatus, and Air. Now we just need to connect Census over to Precantatio, or I suppose Potentia over to Precantatio. But since I already have this one written down, let's do this one. So, Air is in Census. Orum has air inside. Precantatio is in Orum. And Vitium is in Precantatio. There we go, a completed note. Now, you won't actually get the warp effect until you make the discovery. So note the right bottom corner of the screen saying I have gained permanent warp. So, what did that get me? Research Mastery makes us even more efficient at doing research. Now, if I remove a bad aspect, there's a 1 in 2 chance I'll get the point back. Also, there's a 10% chance that it won't take any points at all when I place it in a table. That's pretty useful. Also, we can now combine aspects by shift clicking and they will automatically create that aspect. So instead of doing, you know, air and ignis to make lux, I can shift click on Lux to get more. There we go. So that's Research Mastery and a little bit about Warp. Alright, catch you next time.